Welcome to Turning the Page. I'm host Donnie Morris, owner of Confetti Antiques and Books. And today we are pleased to have with us Bridget Cook, who has co-authored a nationally published book, Shattered Silence, the untold story of a serial killer's daughter. Bridget, good to have you here. I'm delighted to be here, Donnie. Thank you. Tell us a moment, uh, co-authored, what's the difference between being a co-author and like a ghostwriter? Well, a ghostwriter, um, number one, I wouldn't be listed on the book, but a ghostwriter uh, is someone who speaks in the person's voice but doesn't really lend any of their own um, voice to the book, if, it, if that makes sense. Um, and there's two reasons why we, we chose to do this with Melissa and I. Um, Melissa is a, a fantastic writer, and she's very well spoken, um, but she shoved down her feelings for 15 years. You know, um, she found out when she was 15 years old about her father being a serial murderer, and she didn't know how to, um, to put those feelings on paper. So she had attempted to write her story and had done a fabulous job, except that she wasn't in the manuscript. And so when she came to me, um, I was able to assist her, and we would work it out together. So it really was a, a co-partnership. So the book, Shattered Silence, is the story of Melissa Moore and her father. We'll get into that in a moment, but tell us a little bit about you first. Okay. Uh, you've written some other books. I have. Well, tell us about some of the other books you've written. Well, um, Melissa found me because she read um, my first published book through uh, Cedar Fort, which is uh, where Shattered Silence is. And, and she thought if someone could take a story that has a lot of darkness and show the hope and the healing on the other side, that it might be me. And I was very honored. Um, Skinhead Confessions is about a, a former white supremacist who had um, been very high up in Western Hammerskins and had lived a life of uh, just atrocious behavior, um, you know, very violent, uh, been in the military and had even committed atrocious things while he was in the, in the military. But as he became a father, something in him shifted and he wanted his children to grow up differently than the way that he had. So he made a huge transformation and that's what uh, Skinhead Confessions is about. And so when Melissa read that, then she asked if I would be her co-author on this particular book. I see. So Melissa, her story, her father, who's her father? Her father is Keith Hunter Jesperson. He's known as the Happy Face Serial Killer. Um, he has been uh, uh, prosecuted for five murders. We know that he's committed at least eight, and at one time he admitted to as many as 120. But we feel that, you know, at least eight that we know of. Was there any in Utah? No. He was a long-haul truck driver, and he did pass through Utah. And he actually did pick up one woman here. Um, but, uh, you know, didn't end up uh, murdering her, thank heavens. But he, mostly in the Northwest, but as he traveled across the country, it was perfect for him to be able to dispose of bodies. So he wasn't caught. So the, the book is Melissa's story from an early childhood. Mm -hmm. um, before school, she's a, a, a young child, and she's witnessing some horrific things that her father is doing to animals. To she, he wasn't really a, abusive to them, at least. No, he he was never physically abusive to her mother, to her, to her siblings. She has a brother and a sister, um, but there was two sides to this man, as there are with sociopaths. He. Um, very charming. He would walk women out to their cars so that they'd be safe. You know, um, people, uh, for the most part, respected him. But then there was this other side that would strangle her little kitties because he didn't want them around, and he would torture animals. It's like he he couldn't see that that was abusive to his children. So she grew up having this father that's very loving and kind, and would play and would pick up his kids and you wrestle know, with them, wrestle just like, with them like normal. Exactly. And then this father that would strangle her little kittens so you know but there's no book on you know what to do to, f to figure out that your father's a serial murderer it's just not anything that you would ever um, consider and her her mother never considered it either and so she didn't understand the signs you know the the abuse of animals that's one of the major telltale signs um, but they they just didn't know and she didn't know until she was a freshman in high school and that's when she found out about what her father had done wow Amazing. So, does the book read like a true crime novel where it's graphic and... No, actually, this is, this is uh, Melissa's emotional journey. 
and it, it's about what she experienced as a child and then as a teenager and then a young adult and then coming to terms with who her father is. So it, it obviously has um, some material in it that is uh, sensitive and